All right, let's see if the uh, the battery works, and um, I don't complain about talking and going back and forth drinking coffee. So I am doing an attack, but the attack is only going to be here, and I'll explain why in a second or two. I'm glad I slowed down, and like I think I, I was mentioning in a further um, video that I did slow down. So as you can see here, this has got only two more turns until it's an entrenchment, it, and it's in clear terrain. This guy can use broken terrain because of the side hex. Remember, it's always the uh, the hex side um, the person is attacking from, and then the adjacent adjacent hex sides. So this is off the table, and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I'm so glad I did too. So I was originally I had it all set up. I was going to do three supply points, and then uh, thought okay, I had a fairly good chance of 100% uh, chance of putting a, one hit on each. And you'll see here, maybe I hope. Um, I tried to do a little bit, so I don't know if you'll see it, but it, was, it says there, like on the clear train, you need seven hits for 100% chance, 18 to do two, and 50%, uh, 14, and, and 11 supply uh, strength points. You can see over here, I don't know if you saw it, but I just showed you strength point. Uh, like SP is a strength point, one supply point to supply four strength points for an attack. And then you can see in the broken train there as well, it's uh, eight hits. 8 uh, strength points for 1 hit and 20 strength points for 2 hits if you want to get a 100% chance. Anyways, as I was start, I was getting, I had everybody have been shifting over, doing that horrible uh, in and out of zone of control thing. So it was shifting troops over to here, over to here, over to here. And I don't know why something clicked into my head and I went, wait a minute, isn't the, aren't the Russians doing that 4-7 rule? Which is... Um, since um, they have to uh, uh, retreat if they uh, take one third their losses and I was like wait a minute I think the Russians have been doing that 4-7 trick which is the if they just get them up to four strength points uh, the Germans will need two, uh, two hits and then if they do the seven then it'll do three so I went you know what maybe we should just restrict and put it towards there so anyways I decided I'm going to go with five strength points so that's the 22 uh, I mean sorry five supply points so that'll be uh, 20 strength points are going to be um, fully supplied and then uh, that'll re uh, leave a remainder of two unsupplied strength points to down to one so we're gonna go um, after uh, am I doing that right 16 no sorry I did I'm using four supply points that's right Four supply points because I still want to keep the fi uh, the five, and I'm glad. I, I, you'll see in a second when I went. Oh my god! When I realized how many, you'll see how many strength points are sitting here. I was like, I thank God I didn't split up the attacks, or I would have been screwed with a capital S. Um, but I'm still like, holy shoot! I should have maybe have used five supply points. That's right. I only used four. I better start reading out my my stuff here to make sure you guys know what the heck's going on here. So the Russians are defending across clear terrain. It's the German Ninth Army. Uh, they're going to use four supply points to supply 16 strength points with the remaining six strength points unsupplied. So that'll be a total of 19 on number 24 here. Mission. All right. I'll leave the little dude so we'll remember. So the attacking strength points will be 19. 16 plus half of the six. Okie dokie. And these guys, and that's when I went, oh boy, am I ever lucky. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But uh, the Russian um, Group 24 is the 51st Infantry Division, the 43rd Infantry Division, and the 120th Infantry Regiment for a total of seven strength points, you son of a F. I was like, yep, they're, they're doing what I thought they were going to do, which uh, I'm so cool. like I didn't know it was that much, but it's like, okay. So that means... The Germans uh, need to inflict three hits to force a retreat here. That's a bit of a different story now. And I was like, oh man, you screwed yourself. You should have put in the five supply points. But hold on here. Let's take a look at the CRT. See if I would have got it with 19 or 21, how different they are. Uh, where's the CRT? It's not that hard. It's not that different, I don't think. God, that's good coffee. Uh, it's hard here. That's right. Oh, it's way the hell over here. So if you see 19 and 21, remember, I want to get at least three hits, but it's, so it's only, 
more or less the same, isn't it? It's only the possibilities of getting a four hits. So I'm good, as far as I know. I, 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 I think I've saved myself... I think I've saved myself a, a one strength point to more or less get the same effect. So here we go. I just gotta hope to God that I roll high on the 19 here, because it is clear, so there's no uh, no uh, no um, subtraction uh, uh, to the die roll here. Um, so you know what? There's a good there's a yeah I mean, there's a good chance, man. There's a really really good chance. I just didn't see it there then. So here we go. Three hits, and I can force the uh, Russians to retreat. Jeez, man, that was lucky. Well, still haven't done it yet. Could just uh, get a roll low, and then uh, they stay there. Wow. Oh, they're going. Woof. So that's six. Holy shoot! No, it's still only three. But I would have done four hits with the twenty-one, wouldn't I? That would have been interesting. So. At 19 on a 6. Wait a minute. Whoa! I do 4 hits. Wow, that was impressive. So thanks, Charles the Torah, for mentioning about the, um, the loaded dice or the unbalanced dice. Okay, so the Russians will be forced to... Uh, uh, will be forced back. They'll go this away, but not right now. They get to counterattack. Uh, the first army HQ I know for a fact has no um, supply points because that's been the whole flipping thing of trying to get them here. Um, oh shoot, I should have put on. Hold on, so we'll know. Let's stop doing that. Hold on, I gotta go get my funky things. Oh, by the way, I did notice that um, Alberto markers um, don't do so good against the um, against the freaking. Uh, wind or right, big gusts so I'll have to be careful of that as well as I think the next thing for my whatever if I can ever get it over with is my picking of Alberto markers from the trays I'm always like it's got to be that one I'm like no it, it, say if I can get rid of that one I'll be happy <coughs> excuse me there's some coffee here sorry all right so they're going to be um having to be forced back oops um I'm going to have to stop.